Bridges of Madison County is um, a really simple, quiet, delicate little story about a woman who is a kind of Italian war bride, 1965. She's got a good life, she's got teenage kids, she's got a good, solid marriage, and her family go away for a few days to, to, a, to a state fair. She doesn't go, she's gonna just chill out at home, really looking forward to it. And a man walks into her life. He just by chance drives up this, uh, this person's driveway, looking for directions for these covered bridges of Madison County. He's photographed six of them, there's seven of them, he can't find the, the, the seventh one. Then, the question is asked, do the great love stories come about because of fate, because of coincidence, because of the completely random universe that we occupy where it's possible that, that because of one little random moment, um, something extraordinary can happen, but if the random moment went the other way, something extraordinary wouldn't happen. In rehearsals, everyone has been in floods of tears, like literally you're looking around the room, trying not to cry. Every, it, you cannot help it. I think audiences are gonna be stunned by it. I am stunned by it. it it's a richly contrived score, of course. Um, you don't have to ask the question. Now, did the composer write the music and then the lyricist put the lyrics to it or did the lyricist write the lyrics and compose because it's music and lyrics by Jason Robert Brown. It is so detailed it feels there's nothing left to chance uh, and that goes from melody and from lyric. Um, how the lyrics match the melody is, in, is just something you know something incredible. You get to see Trevor Nunn doing his thing so beautifully that no one else can do, like Trevor, of this kind of filmic quality. It's very, very low key. Hopefully when you come and see it, you'll feel like you're just peering into someone's front room. The way that Trevor wanted this show to be and the way he's expressed he wanted it is to be so truthful that people are astounded. So it's not like a musical where it's going to be um, kind of all just hands in your face. This is not that at all. It's almost like I've described it as like an absolutely very truthful play that happens to have some incredibly beautiful music. It's one of those roles. I'm, I've been around for a long time, right? And I've gone from being 14 and being a kid and gone through all the manifestations of being a woman in this industry. And I'm very happily kind of moving into character roles, which I've always felt was my thing. Never felt like romantic leads were my thing. I've done them in the past, but I thought this is the last, this is kind of my swan song to being a romantic lead and what a swan song it is.